Hello, and welcome to the Pillar to Post Lateral Inspection. This is for address 8600 West Hamden Avenue, Lakewood, Colorado, 80227. And today, we're accessing the sewer line through a three inch clean out located in the cellar, uh, cellar under the house. Uh, we're in a cast iron uh, clean out here. And we'll begin the inspection at the entrance to the septic tank. Uh, so if you look at the bottom left of the screen, we're about 111 feet out to the west, out into the field, uh, to where the septic tank is located. And we're just gonna make our way back towards the house. All right, hold on one second here. That's what it looks like, the entrance. Yeah. So we're right under there. Is that exit on the other side? Pipe? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm going to make my way back here and then I'm going to pause at each of the fractures. Okay. And then uh, go ahead and, I'll go ahead and locate those. So we are, I'm looking at just making my video as we go back here. Document. Yep. Uh, so we are making our way back towards the home. Uh, so we will see some fractures throughout. Uh, one right in here, a lot of spiral fractures kind of going around the pipe. That one's right at the entrance, right near the entrance. So we have three more uh, coming back here, at least that I saw on the way out. So we are an original BCP or vitrified clay pipe. So it is meant to move and shift somewhat, but over the years uh, it does have a tendency to fracture at a certain point. First one is about 94 feet. Did uh, did you see how deep yeah, it was yeah. out there? Is that slope good or? Uh, it appears that the slope is pretty good. Yeah. yeah, there was there were some standing bodies of water, but a lot of that was due to debris, I think. Okay. Um, I'll evaluate that more on the way yeah, back. I see a crack there. Yeah, we so we'll pause the video here. I'm going to mark this fracture. We are back. We mark the first fracture there out in the field, approximately seven feet in depth. We're just gonna go a few more oh, feet here. Really... So a little bit of standing water there, not. Yeah. Kind of going yep. around the whole pipe there. Ninety-four. Okay, we're back again. We mark that second fracture just about two feet away from the first fracture. We'll continue on our way through the clay here. We do have another fracture here, a little more difficult to see. It is going up the right side of the pipe, down the pipe, and kind of up the left side as well. So we're gonna mark, stop and mark this one. All right, we mark that third fracture. So we'll continue back towards the house. Another one coming up in just another three feet or so. Right here. So you see that spiral fracture going all the way around the pipe there. So we'll stop and mark this as well. Alright, 
You mark that fracture as well, number four. And away we go. Do you have a lot of debris in the line? We have a big rag or some sort in the line there as well. If I can push through that, get it out of the way. So I'm just kind of re-examining the pipe for more fractures on the way back. I believe that's all I saw on the way out. Most of them were out closer to the septic tank. Clean rags of some sort, possibly. Made it down the drain line. Never see anybody water at this point. But it is holding a lot of debris right here. So obviously uh, with the standbys of water, we can't really evaluate um, what's going on with the sewer line in terms of there are more fractures. We have a large trude intrusion on the left side there and that's holding back some water as well. Uh, so generally what we recommend is cleaning the whole line and then re-inspecting it um, without all this debris in it because obviously we can't, all this debris is obscuring the pipe walls. Uh, we can't see if there are more fractures behind here or not. There's some large tree roots here coming into the line. Obviously we can't really do our water testing in terms of uh, checking out the water flow through the line with all this debris. It's definitely hindering the flow of water through the sewer line. in the line here as well. Just in case a little lack of maintenance hasn't been probably hasn't been cleaned in quite some time. Intrusions kind of blocking, screwing the pipe walls at that point as well. Check if water is escaping the line here. Seems that it is not. Losing our visibility a little bit here.
since we are making the transition right here. Making the transition uh, from the original clay, the original cast iron. So about 20 feet out we are, so the cast iron does go into the yard approximately 15 feet or so based on where I'm in inside the house here. So cast iron as is its nature really holds onto the grease. Fairly durable pipe, at least in residential situations. Um, but large grease buildup in the cast iron as we would expect. But essentially what I'm recommending is a, uh, what we generally do in this situation is recommend a thorough cleaning of the line to clean out all the debris so we can see the pipe walls behind it and then a second inspection uh, to see if there are other fracture points, primarily in the clay that we just can't see at this time. Then we generally recommend a licensed sewer contractor come out and give their evaluation and estimate to repair uh, the fractures that we did see in the line. Show my wipe my lens here really quick. Get some better better vision. Give it a second. So we are in this uh, three inch clear clean up in the downstairs cellar. And I'm going to recommend that thorough cleaning and reinspection to fully evaluate the line and see if there are other points of damage that we just can't see. That will essentially conclude our inspection for today. Thank you very much and have a great day.